Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and so I think it was last week, I think it was last week, I hit you with the Timex M79 Batman Automatic. So this week I've got two new Timex for you. It's been a little while since the last upload, been, eh, I'll be honest, took a little time off, um, but I never really stopped working, uh, but I took off time off from filming. Um, so today I've got you two more Q Timex. I've got uh, the Coke bezel version, uh, both quartz, Coke ver version, and the Snoopy Q, which is kind of cute. Uh, I'm still doing this. I know a lot of people are asking about this watch. Guys, when I, I'm, I'm going to do pre-orders. When I do, I'll make an announcement. It'll be a YouTube announcement, um, I'm pretty sure. So you're not going to miss anything. I'm, I'm, um, I'll probably do Instagram too. And still doing uh, this white one. That is it. Let's check out these two new Timex. So we are getting into two more Q Timex watches. Um, I guess I'll let's get them going. So they are quartz, as you can see. Uh, so two of them here. I've got, uh, I guess the left hand, is the Blue Dial Pepsi Dual Time Bezel with Snoopy at the 6. And then just like the original Q that came out, the reissue that came out late last year, um, this guy is a black dial with a coke bezel and again the dual the dual time coke bezel so i'll go over them relatively quick quickly since you know we have seen them already uh so this guy is uh let's see 38 millimeters in diameter again this is all i guess if you don't know it these are quote unquote reissues of 1970s era timex watches so they carry a lot of the same size specification. So 30 millimeters in diameter, 11 and a half thick to a domed acrylic crystal, period correct, acrylic crystal. 44 on the lug tip to lug tip, you'll see the lugs are very squat. Uh, screw down, uh, individual screw case back, but that doesn't matter for us because we have a battery hatch to replace the battery. It is a Japanese movement, as you can see from right there. And let's see, let's pull off the plastic, and we have a little 70 years. Do I, I guess that's George, George Schultz's signature right below the 70 years for Timex. Uh, Peanuts over here. In case you don't know, I guess, I don't know, is, is Peanuts still a big thing? Uh, Peanuts, Snoopy, Charlie Brown, Lucy, uh, the teacher that went wah, 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 all those. Uh, it's all from the Peanuts gang. Uh, let's see, so dual time, oh, I didn't get the bracelet, 18 millimeter, uh, folded steel link bracelet, moving slider, so infinite adjustability. The price on this guy is just $10 more, I'm assuming because the Snoopy trademarking, uh, $189 than the other guy or the, uh, re the regular Q Timex that came out last year. Um, so dual time bi-directional bezel, so it's a friction, so it goes in either direction, and you use that to set a second time zone, very useful. Uh, you put, you know, you either advance or retard one by one hour, and then you'd read the, the hour hand off of the bezel, so this would be if I wanted it to read 1210, you know, kind of, if it was two hours ahead or whatever, so I always like to use the GMT feature, or example, so five hours ahead at the 12, so in England, it would be three. Uh, 310, uh, and then you obviously have to set your AM and PM correctly. Uh, the uh, blue zone and no, wait, I'm wrong there. AM and PM correctly doesn't matter. Uh, the red and the blue is kind of just for show. Uh, you'd need a 24 hour true bezel to show AM PM. So sorry about that, but I don't want to edit it out. Um, I'm being honest, it, it fooled me for a split second. Uh, the loom is kind of a, a vintage patina on the hands and the markers. It's not white, it's not green, it's not yellow, it's somewhere in between all of those. Operation of the watch, it's simple quartz watch, day and date. Uh, one click out, you'll change the date. Um, I believe to set the day, you need to go with the time to and from 12 o'clock. It's a dual language day, English and Spanish. Two clicks out and you can change the time. Let's come in a bit on the dial. So you see the dial is indeed blue. The crystal is domed. Looks really nice. Nice underside to the bezel. And there is Snoopy in all of his glory. So Q Timex. 1970s vintage. 
what's old is new again. And then we have the Coke version. So now we're looking at the same exact things. This guy is 179. Black dial, they've gone with a reverse day date now. So we've got a um, black background, white lettering, whereas before on the blue it was done in the positive, now it's done in the negative. But same exact watch, same spec, same size, 44 on the tip to tip, 38 diameter, same movement. It looks really nice in the Coke colors when the um, Pepsi came out last year. A lot of people asked about Coke, so if Coke is more your speed, here it is. I will try on, uh, I'm going to try on Snoopy because um, I remember Snoopy from my days of growing up. Uh, we'll see how he looks. So there he is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Fits me fine. Um, plenty of slack. Go with a much larger wrist if you want. Uh, probably up to uh, at least an eight inch wrist. I would say eight and a half inch wrist. There's a lot of, of layover there. Very comfortable. Obviously above or below the bone. It doesn't really matter. 38 millimeter. It's going to fit a very wide variety of wrists. Let's um, We'll just do the loom while it's on the wrist. So there you go. It's easy to tell at the time. I would say, again, the hands are less loomed than the markers, but I think they still both look great. It's relatively easy uh, for me to tell the time. So I'll say that'll do it. it. It was indeed a quick video, just two new cute Timex models. Uh, this has been Mark from LongOutWatch.com. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel uh, if you have not done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below. and. I will be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.